Hi everyone, today we are going to see encryption and decryption using uh, Caesar cipher uh, modification which is uh, also known as Virginia cipher. So that is simply a Caesar cipher uh, modification with different shift of uh, uh, each and every single alphabet of plain text. So we are just repeating the key up to the length of plain text and that's it. So let's start. Mm, this is our main and let's take key from the user and uh, plain text from the user. Now suppose uh, we have this assumption first of all. The assumption is that for the simplicity we are considering only lowercase values and no space should be there. Suppose our user is dumb then we just have to deal with him. So let us provide a functionality and that functionality should be to just limit the values to what we want. So lowercase it then split it whenever you encounter any space we don't need to write it because it is by default uh, split is by space itself now join it back so this is what we are having for the key and similarly for the plain text if he is entering any spaces or uh, capitalized letters alphabets then we should do the same thing okay now uh, we should this key this key should be like up to the length of plain text and suppose we are having key which is smaller than or greater than the length of the plain text the length of the key is like that then in that case we want to modify it because we want different shift for the each and every single alphabet of plain text this is just virginia cipher concept so that the modified key should be contained in s and let's run a loop for I in range of length of our plain text and that's it uh, let us append s with something which it should it, it be it should be key uh, of some variable should be there let us call it caterpillar and caterpillar is zero and caterpillar modulo then key so what i'm going to do uh, what is this logic this logic is very simple we are having caterpillar zero and let me show you one more thing we are actually increasing this caterpillar as well this is just a counter it will go from zero up to the length of the plain text and it will keep increasing and uh, we are taking a modulo uh, of it with the length of key we are doing so because uh, we could also use i plus because i is running in the range of length plain text plus one we use another variable no problem we could also use i plus one or simply i i should not say i plus one we can use i simply that doesn't matter let's go ahead and uh, simply let's make a function for it let it decipher text and within here let's give it the name and uh, let's pass in plain text and the shift string and they should give us something and which will we will print here this is cipher text and uh, we should pass this cipher text here and it should give us uh, this thing finally now we have to define it let's go def so we are having it let's run a loop let us call it text rather let's run a loop before running a loop let us assume that we're going to contain our result in this string and uh, now let's run a loop for i in range of uh, length of plain text or any text i don't care uh, we are parsing this character uh, the text we are parsing actually into a character because it is a uh, 
stream cipher yeah that is stream cipher so uh, because it is a stream cipher so we need to parse one by one and it is very easy to crack so here what we are doing this is result and character and uh, this is ORD of car let me tell you just give me a second it should be minus 97 so this because car is an alphabet and we want sky value so this will give us sky value now we are subtracting 97 from it because we want a value uh, between 0 to 5 which is the position 0 to 25 which is the positional value for any alphabet because we are having 26 alphabet so we want to position them and 97 is the sky value of a that's it and we are adding some shift and we want that that position of that shift because s is our string and we are also subtracting from it because it was also 97 it because it, it was also a string so we or i should say character we want its sky value using this odd function as well so we are done with it we take a modulo 26 to make it back into this range 0 to 25 and now we are adding back 97 because we want it uh, to be a character back and which we are just adding it to the result and modifying the result and here we finally print our result so let us see if it is working or not hella bella and this is our ciphertext let us write something sensible hello world how are you okay ciphertext is none why why is it none let me see so this is our ciphertext ciphertext is origin your plane s and this is our result okay it should be returned how could I forget that? So let's copy this control C and run it. Hello world. So this is our plain this is a cipher text and let's just copy paste it for the verification of decryption. Okay. Comment it out and we are working on decryption now for the de decryption we simply need to do the reverse of it so let us simply plane back let us do this and we are giving it uh, the argument as a uh, vigineer let us call it the same function with the cipher text and s but hold on how should we differentiate let us use uh, some boolean value say true for it and false for it and we should modify it likewise we should take a flag out there which is a boolean value and if it is like a true then it should do the job for encryption and if it is false then it should simply do the work for decryption for decryption we just need to modify it a little bit and what should be that so we are adding the shift here this is the shift we are adding it in encryption here we need to uh, subtract it completely so 97 will get cancelled out first of all and uh, here is the negative sign we might get this value negative so to make it positive from 0 to 25 we're just adding 26 it won't make any difference and uh, let's see if it is working or not so this was our cipher this was our key and this was our plain text and uh, this was what we are getting for cipher text and we're getting the plain text back so that was it thanks a lot please do like share and subscribe thank you